So what is it that makes Catholic Health different and special? We often think about the unique kind of care we offer to our patients. Here, in their own words, are associates of Catholic Health who talk about how we touch the lives of the community in a very special way and the difference. My hope for Catholic Health is that we remain strong and that um, we can grow. Um, we can grow the mission uh, in, in all different areas of our community. Um, in, in these hard times, people need something to hold on to and to believe in. And I believe that the mission of Catholic Health is something that, that they can believe in. As Catholic Health System itself is definitely um, a gospel-based, faith-based organization. However, and with our core values and with our mission statement, we are very focused on, uh, again, uh, being a transforming presence and continuing the healing ministry of Christ. The corporate uh, practice of medicine or the, the organization of our healthcare services are definitely grounded in the core values of the church and foundational elements that we're here to, to um, continue the healing ministry of Jesus. So I think that uh, there, while there may not be as many religious in presence, there's always a, a mission person who is involved in decision making and in selection of, of leaders. Um, uh, we're prayerful and we, we as not-for-profit organizations, we have to be um, certainly mindful that there are no fiscal barriers to care and that, that we have to um, give service to, uh, regardless of the ability to pay. The whole Catholic health system in itself is all the way around because it's not just Kemmer Mercy, it's sisters and St. Joe's and all the enemies that, enemies that go around that part of it, you know, all bring it together and the real purpose of it is, is we're following the Christian values that Christ has laid for us and that's what the whole system, that's what the Catholic health system is, a ministry, no doubt about it, you know, I think we're all called to minister somewhere. At this point in my life, I believe that God has called me to minister at the hospital and what the type of work I am doing. Every single person who volunteers there ministers in some areas. Some you don't even see. They're in the back somewhere, in an office, whatever the case is. I'm a little more visible than others are, and so but we're all ministering in some way, in some capacity to those who need it. It's non-denominational in the sense that the, the, the commandments to, to see God in one another and to love one another uh, are, are important attributes in the workplace, that there's respect and dignity for the individual, that there is um, uh, an opportunity to give service, to imitate um, the, the teachings of the gospel and dealing with one another. And Colonel Bernadine talked about that healthcare workers uh, if they give anything, they give hope to the, to the patient. The mission to me is on that all, all of our patients and families are equal and that everybody gets that thing that they need, whatever need it is. And, on, and again, we're talking here the indigent poor, um, we're talking about that word respect and how we need to respect um, our fellow man. It's to treat people the way that they should be treated. It's to um, anybody that comes in, it doesn't matter uh, what their needs are or who they are, that they're going to be treated with respect and dignity. And um, because we have so many, we our, our population is so aged at this point, and there's so many people that come in and they have no one. They have no family. There's no one to make sure that they're getting the best care that they can get. There's nobody advocating for them. And that is truly, I believe, the mission of the Catholic health system. The Catholic health system, I guess, in general is just... Uh people that are so compassionate and so respectful and so understanding 
of other people. And uh, people come through the doors from all walks of life. And uh, you were just, it's just a mix, mix of different cultures of people getting along with each other, working together and sharing. The mission is, um, you know, it's a living spirit. It's, it's a thing that is very alive. And, and I see it in my, um, my colleagues. I see it in administration. And it's, it's all for us. It's, it's for um, our patients and our families, and it's for the employees. We have that spirit. I don't know. There's a special spirit about us, and people say that as soon as you come into our facility, they just feel there's a difference there. And that's why, you know, I, I've had people come in and, and they say, I just see a social difference when I've gone around and people have checked all their facilities out and they just see a different spirit in, in our place. So I do feel that we have a, spe a special spirit there. The one thing about the Catholic health system is that they're based on Christian values of Jesus Christ. This is the most important thing that I see at this part, with compassion, with, with love, with everything that they do. It goes beyond the medical part of it. I mean, the great doctors there and all of this, but I know you can go other places and get great doctors and that type of thing. But it goes beyond that. To give good quality care, excellence, um, uh, compassionate care, and to per care for those who are poor and disadvantaged. That's the, the core of what we're, what we're about. The mission is always to, uh, as I said, to provide compassionate, loving care, to care for those who have um, maybe poor or disadvantaged, to provide excellence as well, to make sure that we're providing for all of their needs, no, you know, spiritual, physical, as well as uh, physical and mental, but everything, psychosocial, emotional, and the spiritual connection especially, we're able to offer that. My hope for Catholic Health is that we continue, we are growing and that we will continue to grow and be able to, to help people in the way that we do on a daily basis, be it in the hospitals, in the home, in every, every avenue that people need help, that we could be there and people would know that they could count on us to help them. People who come to us, and I can compare and contrast, having worked in non-sectarian hospitals and major medical centers in New York City, that it's, it's different, it's special, and I like it. I think that people that work for the Catholic health system um, really truly believe that because they, there's a mission involved and it has to do with people that, and it's not the bottom line, you know, um, it, it's not money, that that, that gives people comfort and um, it helps calm them down and there's a lot of trust there. Be an example of the golden rule. And knowing that you're going to need something like this in your life. Somebody in your family is going to need to come into a hospital. And it's such a terrifying experience that you want, you want to make sure that um, by your good acts that they will be returned to your family and loved ones. Our mission. We are called to reveal the healing love of Jesus to those in need. Our 2020 vision Inspired by faith and committed to excellence, we will lead the transformation of health care in our communities. Our values, reverence, compassion, justice, and excellence.